What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Inspirational Sundays. As always, I'm your humble Picasso. Thanks for joining in. And today we are going to talk a little bit about prayers and answers. Now, uh, recently I saw, you know, a post from someone who was, you know, uh, very, I want to say down and out. Okay. The, the gist of it was the person was writing on a post that was speaking about praying and God answering prayers. And the person was, I don't know this person. I don't know what they're going through, but they were very distraught. They basically said they're at the bottom. They're planning on giving up. They do believe and trust in, in, in almighty God and everything, but whatever they're going through, it is so rough. And, you know, I did put a couple of scriptures there. You know, I let them know that I was going to pray for them and just not to give up because the devil wants us to give up. The enemy wants us to give up, right? What we have to do no matter what. And I know some situations out there I can't even imagine. And we just cannot give up. We can't give up because giving up means the lake of fire. We cannot give up. And I know it's easy for somebody like me to say that because I'm not going through whatever that person's going through. But I do know that we cannot give up. It is a fight. It is a long race. And the race can be easy for some and the race can be extremely hard for others. But we cannot give up. So I tried. I, I hope that I left some encouraging words for that person, that individual. And I do pray for that person. And um, I hope that, you know, the Lord will help that I know the Lord will, right? The Lord will help that person. Now, in regards to that, when we pray, you know, we have to also understand that God is not on our time. God is outside of time. Actual time itself does not apply to God, right? Of course, he created time. He created space and time. He's outside of these things, right? He's not bound by the rules of what he created right so we have to keep in mind that when we pray sometimes we might get the answer right away sometimes we may get the answer you know years down the line so it says right? here in because second peter chapter 3 verse 8 it says but be beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day so right there you know that our time is not close to what we would uh, uh, comprehend as time to the Lord because he is out of it. Okay. One day to us could be like a thousand years to, 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 to God. A thousand years to us is like one day to God. So our perception of time does not uh, 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 involve God. Okay. God's timing is perfect. Okay. God can't make a mistake. So whenever he does something, it's on his perfect time. Okay. Um, now, we have to understand a couple of things when it comes to prayer and when it comes to, to to getting our answers. We also have to make sure that our prayers are genuine. In Proverbs okay. chapter 15, verse 8, it says, God can't stand pious poses, but he delights in genuine prayers. So as long as you are praying to the Father with your whole heart, you're genuine about your prayer, God's going to listen to it because he appreciates those things. And we also have here in... Uh, Proverbs, once again, chapter 28, verse 9, it says, God has no use for prayers of the people who won't listen to him. Okay, so now sometimes maybe our answers are uh, maybe our prayers are not being answered because we're not actually listening to God. These are things to keep in mind. Okay, we also have Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. It says, God keeps his distance from the wicked. He closely attends to the prayers of of God loyal people. Again, we have to make sure that we are doing our part. We must be loyal to God. We can't be serving any idols. We can't be serving wealth and serving fame, serving fame and fortune and serving man and serving people and, and, and idols and, and having all these no gods, you know, and then think that when we're in trouble and we pray, God's going to answer. He's not going to. He has no use. He has no use for prayers of the people who won't listen to him. That's Proverbs 28, verse 9. Okay, we have to keep that in mind. Okay. Now, another reason why your prayers might not be 
uh, uh, you're, you might not be getting the answers, uh, you know, when you should is because we have to remember that in in Daniel chapter 10, verse 10 to 14, right? It shows that, again, it's spiritual warfare. We're in the physical, but the prayer going up to God, these things are in the spiritual realm. These are, and there's definitely spiritual warfare going on. So you know that there's angels fighting demons out there, okay? The forces of good against the forces of evil. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright. For unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Verse 12 says, Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. Okay, so spiritual warfare. This is an angel coming to Daniel and letting him know. Okay, verse 12, then said unto me, fear not, Daniel, from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, right? And to chasten thyself before God, thy words were heard. So God heard the prayer the same day, of course, right? But, you know, going off of scripture here. So the same day that Daniel prayed, the prayer was heard and the answer was sent. But the devil, uh, uh, the devil stood in front of this messenger angel, okay, bringing the answers to Daniel, okay. It says one and twenty days. That might be one hundred and twenty days. I'm not really sure on um, you know old English talk, but one and twenty days. It kind of sounds like one hundred and twenty days, right? So that means the devil was holding this angel back with Daniel's answer to his prayer for one hundred and twenty days. Okay, that's four months. Am I right? 30, 30. Yeah, that's that's about four months. So the devil is holding back this prayer, this the answer to Daniel's prayer for about four months. Right. And the answer was sent the same time as the prayer was heard. So spiritual warfare is a serious thing. That's why we have to stay in the spirit. We have to stay in prayer because, again, Michael is the one that came and helped this angel break free from the devil. Right. So, again, maybe it's just a messenger angel and, you know, he's not powerful enough to just shrug Lucifer to the side, you know, like Michael, you know, big chief prince Michael comes and he's like, hey, Lucy, what are you doing? You know, and box him up a couple of times. And then he's like, okay, you can go deliver the message now. You know what I'm saying? So, so these, these things, things can also hinder the answers to our prayers. We have to keep these things in mind. The way that we can help is to stay in prayer, right? You know, ask God to send backup to release anything that might be hindering or holding our prayers back. Right. So these things are, are, are definitely things to keep in mind. God loves genuine prayer. OK. And he has no use for prayers of people who don't listen to him. These are just some things to keep in mind. We pray and God hears our prayer, but he has no use for it if we are not listening to him and following his commands. OK. If the prayers aren't genuine, he's not going what's the point right and then spiritual warfare it's real and it's out there and it's holding back a lot of our answers so we have to stay in prayer and stay in the spirit i hope this encouraged some of you or someone out there it's definitely encouraged me myself i always take what i put out first for myself you know and um yeah i'm I'm very happy with uh, uh, this message today. I hope that it does encourage somebody and help somebody, you know, who may be wondering, you know, is God not listening to your prayers? He's listening, but there's many different reasons why you may not have the answer yet. 
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. And uh, until the next video, stay blessed, peace, grace, and God's mercy on everyone. Peace. I'm out.